Hello there, welcome back. And today I'd like to talk about a potential direction Marvel could go in in the future. Something that hasn't been done before. The Thunderbolts. Where the villains, hear me out, are the heroes. Son of a bitch! No, oh, alright, okay, fine. I hear you. They're similar. They're the same. <laughs> it's the same idea. But if you're going to, you know, you're going to see your ass about any of these concepts being similar to one another. I mean, have you seen any of these films? <laughs> They're all the same film. Uh, but we have had some stuff in the MCU that has bled over from the Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts became Dark Avengers in the comics and uh, that's where Iron Patriot is from, which we saw in Iron Man 3. I can't really see them doing that kind of storyline again, especially when in the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Spoilers. Spoilers. They are doing that uh, story arc where they are like sort of bastardizing an iconic character deliberately with uh, whatever he's called. He's so. Kurt Russell's son, who's playing uh, our version of Captain America and nobody likes him. And he's going to go a bit nuts. You want to get nuts? You want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts. So they're probably not going to do Iron Patriot, but we have seen imagery from the kind of Thunderbolts side of things before. And especially now with Zemo coming back, he's coming back in a big way. He's very charismatic, he's very interesting. I don't think they're going to kill him off. He's doing his little dance. He's doing his CQC with the mask on. Ah! And Zemo has been a member of the Thunderbolts in the past and I feel that would be a really nice little segue into making that. Now there is a ton of villains left alive in the MCU so let's just take a look and see who we think could potentially be in there. Batroc the Leaper who has uh, recently reappeared in the Falcon and Winter Soldier still kicking just about kept him alive for a reason. Justin Hammer Slightly less likely to be included in a super-powered unit, but he could build a suit, I guess, be the sort of team's version of Iron Man. Abomination. From that abomination of a film. <laughs> but no one's made that joke before. Uh, but no, Tim Roth's abomination, he's still out there. Feel like this might be the time for him to come back. Could be the villain that the other villains have to take down, because he was well and truly tapped in the Swede, mate. Baron Mordo. Probably not, because Baron Zemo can't have Battle of the Barons. Especially because he's, uh, what's he called, mystically powered. I think they'll keep that separate to uh, the Doctor Strange stuff. Vulture? I think Vulture, again, how much money it would cost to have him in his suit. But I suppose Falcon is not unfeasible, but I feel like they'll be saving him for a Sinister Six Spider-Man 1 down the line. He's out. A ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp is an interesting one. Ghost is actually a member of the Thunderbolts in the comics. Uh, she's still out there. She's still running about. They can just chalk it up to she got caught. <laughs> and then they put her on the team. I think that would be a really good one. Having a very well-established character plonked in rather than some of them that just had no real, uh, no real motivation. My money would be on Ghost being as part of this Thunderbolts team in the future. There's our version of the Shocker and our version of the Prowler from Spider-Man Homecoming again. They had a lot of those little uh, little hints to villains in, in that. I think the Tinkerer was in there as well. They could be up there. Matt Gargan, who is the Scorpion, also becomes Venom and is the Thunderbolts team version of Venom. Can't really see him going that route, but... I mean... Maybe. And Crossbones is in the comics team, but he dead. He like scrape him off the floor, kind of dead. <laughs> so I doubt he'll be back. But it doesn't have to be characters we've already seen before, cameos and stuff. Obviously, these films are absolutely saturated with cameos. But I feel there's a really good chance to do this again as a series with a little more time to breathe and introduce a lot of new characters. Uh, Man-Thing, for one, is one I'd be like absolutely down for seeing. Just, like, I guess it'd be like the King Shark equivalent 
uh, from the new Suicide Squad trailer. Yes. Yes. But I don't even know if Marvel have the film rights to that. I couldn't find anything concrete that it had reverted back to Lionsgate uh, after they made that film that did really badly. <laughs> like, really badly. Uh, but I think if they are smart, they will focus on one character in particular who we haven't seen yet, and that will be Songbird. I mean, come on. You can already see the Halloween costumes. You can already see it. Wigs for days. Uh, she started off as a villain called Screaming Mimi, and she reformed herself to a degree when she joined the Thunderbolts. Her powers can be explained away with sort of an apparatus. I think she got ex she got like bionic vocal cords or something like absurd, but you know, they, they, they would find a way, I assume, to ground that a little bit more. And she can like fly and shit. She's got the... I guess you'd, you'd build up to the reveal of all the stuff she can do and control and the big pink glow that she can do. I first became aware of, I think, the Thunderbolts in general, uh, but her from Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 on PS3. And it's not just the marketability of the, you know, the look, which uh, DC did very, very well with Harley Quinn, because she became, like, just as iconic as, you know, your Batman and your Superman. <laughs> Uh, in regards to those films at least she was definitely the breakout character for all those films then Marvel are probably going to do something similar I imagine with Songbird if they use her um, but it's good because she's not evil and characters that aren't completely good or evil are as we know the best kind of characters look at most of Game of Thrones <laughs> was really good because those characters were just like kind of people a bit morally gray here and there and that is interesting and it would be good to see her progress from perhaps a bit of a textbook villain but when she's pitted next to just absolute degenerates and monsters how she grows from that that could be really compelling i think personally and i think she is absolutely going to be the breakout star of thunderbolts if they do use her plus lest we forget she's had a relationship with zemo in the comics and her sort of suit thing that she wears where she can control the sound uh, has been built by Claw who was Andy Serkis's character connecting some dots maybe she picks it up in Madripoor which we've just seen Mog the Death Falcon and the Winter Soldier again all these are perfectly like possible I feel um, and Oh man, imagine if I do this video and then she's in like the next episode. I'm going to be fuming, man. <laughs> but even if they don't use Songbird, there's such a, a mad amount of people that were on the team. Like I've just been sort of looking through these again. Haven't read them for a long, long time. And you got like uh, proper obscure ones like Radioactive Man, Moonstone, Penance. All the way up to your big league boys, your Green Goblins, Juggernauts, Venoms. And uh, even Ant-Man, which I had completely forgotten about. That might be... Uh, a pretty sweet way of tying in a big name at least as a cameo and also if uh, Wyatt Russell whose name I forget what the character is actually called but the guy who's currently playing Captain America really does lose his shit and gets put in prison he'd be a pretty good guy to kind of sneak into this as well again connecting it all together wouldn't that be sweet who do you want in the team do you want there to be a team? <laughs> Let me know. I am, again, as always, very interested in what people have to say on this kind of thing. Is it just wild speculation or is it a cold, hard fact? Because I know I sure as hell have been wrong before. <laughs> uh, so if you liked it, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. And if you double like, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Take <gasps> you, bye!